Also today, a search continues for a man wanted in connection to an alleged murder in Carter County. More than $3,500 in reward money is being offered between several law enforcement agencies for information that leads to the arrest of Jim Chambers. He's a suspect in the death of Edward Elliott. Another suspect, Joey Gwynn, was taken into custody last week in connection to that incident. News Channel 11's Clarice Shaley has been following the progression of this case and the investigation. Clarice. Yeah, the Carter County Sheriff's Office has been checking in on tips throughout the county as they continue their search for Jim Chambers. He's wanted with a first degree murder charge, among others, and Joey Gwynn's case is making its way through the court system. Joey Gwynn made a short appearance in front of a Sessions judge in Carter County as his attorney asks to move his case along and set his preliminary hearing for next month. You understand your right to preliminary hearing within 14 days you are away from that right today. I pray this can be held June 5th. Yeah. Gwynn has been charged with first degree murder of Edward Elliott, abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence. Law enforcement is still searching for Jim Chambers, who faces the same charges in connection to Elliott's murder. According to the affidavit for Gwynn's arrest, witnesses said they saw both Gwynn and Chambers beating Elliott. But before then, one heard a loud boom outside of a home and then received a call from Chambers through Facebook Messenger, telling them not to come outside. The witnesses said that there was a pool of blood outside the home the next morning. We checked Chambers criminal history and it shows he pled guilty to multiple counts of promotion of meth manufacturing in 2013. Sheriff Fraley tells me tips have taken them even to Roan Mountain as they search for Chambers. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation just added Chambers to its most wanted list. The department describes Chambers as armed and dangerous. Clarice, thanks, and you can read more about that investigation on our website, WJHL.com.